Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, Batman's Cool It here, and today I just wanted to show you guys my, um, well, my custom the Batman figures. I got really, I really, really got inspired by the movie because I really love the movie to make the McFarlane ones better and to also just make kit bashes. Um, and I really do like how these turned out. Um, and I'm gonna let you guys decide in the comments what you think. But first, we're going to start with... We're going to save the Batman for last. We're going to start with this Bruce Wayne. And all it is is a John Wick body with different hands and a Bruce Wayne head that I repainted. Not the best, but it does all right. Um, and the body is the exact same as John Wick. Nothing different. Um, we got Riddler, which I just added blood. And some dirt, and um, I think it, and different hands. Well, different right hand, I think. Yeah, no, no, different hands in general, both. Um, so we can hold stuff better. Um, and then we got this thug I made. And he turned out pretty cool. I like him. I used the Drifter Batman body, different hands, and uh, um, it's from a Marvel Legends figure, I just don't remember. Um, and it, I think it's Skullbuster or something like that. Um, and it turned out pretty good. I mean, not, nothing fancy. I mean, it turned out pretty good. I mean, everything's the same except for the hands and head. But, um, now we're gonna get on to, this is a two-parter. Because I made something else for it, too. Um, here is the regular version of, hold up. One second of the Batman. And all I did was fix the arm proportions. Um, re and repaint it and give him a new cape. So number one, he doesn't have the side eyes. Let's see if we can get that to focus. He doesn't have the side eyes anymore. I repainted the mouth. I repainted the chest armor and the belt. Gave him the straps. Gave him the holster. It's not accurate, the holster. This ain't entirely accurate, but it's my, like, depiction of it. And, um, I gave him mud on the boots. And painted pretty much everything with a dry brush. And I gave him a fabric pleather type of cape. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, and it can... It, it's not wired, because I wanted it to hang sometimes, like this. I don't know. I just didn't feel like adding a wire, too. Because um, I got an another Batman that I'm working on. Um, and the best thing about this is I can take the head, pop it off, and I got, and I made out of an extra Batman, the unmasked version, I made the wingsuit Batman. So, all I have to do is put this head on if I can do it on camera which I can there we go and the ears a little bit and now I got a wingsuit Batman which is pretty cool uh, nothing too fancy here just kind of a lot of kid bashing to be honest with you I don't it, underneath is just a regular Batman body from the Batman um I used, I don't know what hands I used. I think I used a Django Fett hands from something. Um, just to have like a leather type of hands. Um, put a lot of fabric on and use leather for the wings. And I think it turned out pretty good. Not bad. Um, but other than that, my favorite out of these has to be the regular The Batman. And although I do like um, the uh, regular Batman, this one's one of my second favorite. But uh, he's going to be headless right now. Uh, this, of course, is the body. Um, I think the Bruce Wayne turned out decent. I think the Riddler turned out decent. The Thug turned out okay. Not my favorite. But then again, these are kind of quick customs that you can do. And I just wanted to share them with you guys. 
Um, but um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the quick little video, and I hope I want to see your guys' customs. Let me know um, in the comments if you guys made any, and I'll catch you guys later. So bye.